Short codes are short snippets of code that will help you incorporate certain features on your WordPress posts, pages, and widgets. The advantage of short codes is that you will be able to manage customization of your site without having advanced coding knowledge. Short codes will actually help you publish dynamic content including images, content, and functions on your WordPress posts and pages without creating long stretches of code. In this video tutorial, we will provide you some basic insights on how to use WordPress and WooCommerce shortcodes. Let us first look at some of the popular shortcodes for WordPress as well as WooCommerce. WordPress has some default shortcodes for audio, video, playlist, gallery, caption, and embedding. And for WooCommerce, there are shortcodes for cart, checkout, and my account pages. While these are mostly static shortcodes, they can be used anywhere dynamically. You can follow the link in the video description to read our complete guide on WooCommerce shortcodes to understand them in detail and make the best use of them. For demonstration purposes, let us make use of the sale products shortcode. First, let us see how we can add a shortcode in the classic editor. Let us create a new page for sale items and add a suitable page title. Next, we should add the shortcode in the description in this way. We should then go ahead with publishing the page and then adding it to the main menu of our website. When you move to the front end of the store, you can see the shop page listing all the products. When you navigate to the menu and click on the sale page that you've just created, you can see that the page only contains all the products that are on sale. When it comes to Gutenberg editor, the best way to use the shortcode is by using the shortcode block. You can simply click on the addition icon, search for shortcode block and paste the shortcode. After you publish this page, you can see all the products that are on sale, as you've seen in the previous method. Apart from adding the short codes in the page or post, you can use them on widgets as well. For example, let's see how we can add the sale products on our sidebar. To do this, go to the WordPress Customize Settings. Move to the widget setting and click sidebar. Next, add a text widget and give a suitable name. Add the short code on the text editor and see the magic happen. You can then save the settings to apply the short code. In our last approach, we will see some of the popular WordPress shortcodes plugins. The first one on the list is Shortcodes Ultimate. This plugin will help you create a lot of visual elements using WordPress shortcodes. You can use these shortcodes in posts, pages, text widgets as well as template files. The visual elements that you can create using this plugin include boxes, buttons, tabs, sliders, carousels, etc. The plugin has a responsive design and works with almost all popular WordPress themes. It is quite easy to use as you can insert the shortcode and get a live preview to understand how it will look. The plugin works seamlessly with the Gutenberg editor as well. Moreover, the plugin offers several customization options as it is quite developer friendly and offers custom CSS options. It is translation ready and offers RTL support as well. The extensive documentation will help even WordPress beginners to set it up and use more than 50 short codes available with it.
The second plugin on our list is WP Shortcode by My Theme Shop. If you have trouble using theme specific shortcodes for visual elements, this plugin will be a good way out. It helps you set up more than 24 different visual elements on your WordPress site independent of any theme. These elements include buttons, boxes, toggles, Google Maps tables, layouts, etc. All the shortcodes are minimally styled, and hence are quite compatible with most sites. Moreover, they are easily customizable, if it does not work for you out of the box. You can use this plugin to customize your site's front end and not worry about losing the changes when you change the theme. The third plugin on our list is AMRR Shortcode Any Widget. With the help of this plugin, you can add one or more widgets and entire widget areas into a page using a shortcode. It works well on both the classic editor as well as the Gutenberg editor. The plugin will style the widget in a manner that will be in line with your theme style. If you are not happy with it, you can always make adjustments to the design as the plugin is quite customizable. Even if you change your site's theme, this plugin will restore the settings and display the widgets according to the new theme. The fourth entrant is the Shortcoder plugin. This is a plugin that will help you store code snippets like HTML, JavaScript, etc. in shortcodes. You can use these shortcodes to execute the code on pages and posts. It is quite easy to use this code. Simply create a name for the shortcode and paste the code snippet and save it. Now a shortcode is created, which you can place on a page or post to execute the code snippet. The plugin also offers an option to disable the shortcodes globally when you don't want to use them. The fifth plugin is WooCommerce Shortcodes for Visual Composer. This plugin helps you add some WooCommerce shortcodes. This plugin provides a simple and efficient way to add shortcodes on Visual Composer. It will help you customize the front end of your store in a more organized way as you desire. However, you may need to note the plugin only helps to add shortcodes to Visual Composer. The elements of your front end will be majorly dependent on the theme that you are using. The sixth plugin is the WooCommerce Coupon Shortcodes plugin. The plugin helps to provide coupon information to customers so that there are more chances to convert. It also helps to display content based on the availability of valid coupons. You can encourage customers to complete the order by providing specific coupons according to the content of their cart. Similarly, you can motivate them to increase the order value so that they can apply a specific coupon. The plugin provides a set of conditional short codes, which you can use to set options as you desire. You can allow displaying specific content depending on whether the customer applies the coupon or not. Similarly, you can also selectively display content based on the validity of the coupon as well. These are the available short codes in the plugin. The seventh plugin on our list is SIP Reviews Shortcode. This plugin helps to display product reviews anywhere on your WooCommerce store. The highly customizable plugin allows inserting product schema as well. It is a great tool for your marketing efforts. For example, if you have a custom landing page, you will be able to insert product reviews on the page using a shortcode. Or, if you want to embed your reviews section on a blog page, you can do that with this plugin. 
the plugin takes away the manual effort needed to display product reviews elsewhere on the site. SIP Reviews Shortcode plugin offers seamless integration with most of the popular WooCommerce themes. This is achieved by the unique color customization feature of the plugin. Additionally, it allows you to get product schema in any page. By default, WooCommerce has a product schema on the product page. If you want it to be there on any other page based on your requirements, you can have it. Hence, these are the best plugins for using WordPress and WooCommerce shortcodes. Follow the links in the video description to explore these plugins. Therefore, in this way, you can use WordPress and WooCommerce shortcodes. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. If you have any ideas, suggestions, and topics to cover related to WordPress and WooCommerce, do let us know in the comments section. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels.